Howdy folks and welcome to a new series of Super Hamster Plays Farming Simulator. And today I am playing Farming Simulator 2019. That's a balloon, just in case you weren't aware. It says so and everything. I love that this place labels things. Anyway, welcome to our new farm. The last time you saw me, um, we were getting ready to sell up Letton Farm in sunny England. And here we are in a shiny new farm that is not in England. But wait, it looks very English. Hmm. The question is, where are we? A bit of a sweat on. Hello, shiny tractor. This is going to be our workhorse for the foreseeable future. Here is our farm. Yeah, I put this little novelty thing in because I really like it. Welcome to Hamster Farm. Welcome to Denalalor. <clears throat> Welcome to Ireland. Yes, I have emigrated. That is what the big hoo-ha was about. That's why I couldn't tell you what my plans were, because it all involved lots of paperwork and applications for visas and all that sort of thing. But here we are, in Ireland, in our new farm. So, what kind of a farm is it? Well, let me bring up a map, and we'll go through it. So here we are. Here is uh, the local area. And if we zoom in here, you can see there's our house where we were this morning. There's the uh, the church that we just went past with the flag. Or is that here? Might be here. No, because that's the pond. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we've come through there. Um, we own this piece of land essentially here and that's ours and a bit of a drive away we own this piece of land here that's ours we don't own this bit um, ignore these little dots for now and we own this stretch of land up here so in short that one there those pieces there so we have two real distinct um, areas. And that's got a little bit of a gap. Um, yeah, that's the, the local um, supply shop, um, agricultural vehicle shop. And we bought a lot of things from them. As I said, it wasn't practical to ship them over. So I've sold those old pieces on from Letton and bought new here. And that lot's all waiting for us to go and collect. And as you can probably tell, we will be raising sheep again, and we will be raising cows as well as various um, ooh, weather's setting in, as well as various um, arable crops. Right, After that. Let's go for a bit of a drive. Yeah, so that field over there is where we'll be keeping the sheep. You know what? I'm going to put my map away. And let's see if we can do this without getting lost. So we own this field. We own this field? Is this the one we own? It is, isn't it? Yeah. So we own uh, this field on our left, which is where we're going to keep the sheep. We own this field on our right, which uh, I'm not sure what crops in there at the moment. I'm going to say sunflowers, which could be a problem because we don't have anything looking after sunflowers. We own this grass field here, and we own this uh, 
here. I'm not sure which way this gate opens. So, as you can see, we're an island where it always rains. It's lucky it goes the right way. Uh, this little patch of forest, that's ours. And I'm sure we'll do something with that over the coming months. Um, and I think technically we own these stables, although currently they're being rented out. Um, so we own the land. Just someone else uh, owns the stables. I'm not really 100% on the details on that one. But it's the main road. Um, there is another road that swings around behind that field that comes out up there. But for now, we'll go for a drive. Yeah, so this one's ours. This crop here. Local pig farmer. Looks like he's, I don't know, he's got everyone out to market today or something. Yeah, I've noticed they don't look out where they're going in this country. determined that they're going to get out in front of um, tractors. You know, I may just have to uh, cash point. Good to know if I need it. Um, where are we? This is where I think it is. We own this crop here. Yes. And that looks like corn to me. That's going to be a problem. Because again, we don't have anything from the corn. Uh, you can go up there to the main road, but we're not. We're going to go around the back. Hmm? Oh, I got stuck on the post already. Not the best start. Mm -hmm. so, yep, so this field here with all the crop in, that's ours. This here is our cow shed. We own all that. And that's where we're going to be keeping the cows, in that pasture there. It's going to go around. Yep. Trying to damage the crops. And as you can see... And this field here, this grass field, we own that too. And here is our second compound. Now, my current thinking, um, because the compound we started at, the, the main farm, has, um, yeah, we own this field. Uh, yeah, that field, or that compound way over there, um, has facilities for storing grain and the like. So I figure that's going to be our main arable farm. And this one here we're going to use for grass-related things. Because, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that is a silage clamp. We don't own it. Technically, we own that silage, but I don't know... Well, I'm assuming it's silage wrapped in those bales, but I don't know anything about it. So, uh, yeah. I don't know what we're going to do about that. Uh, I haven't introduced myself to the neighbours yet. So I'm going to drive like lunatics in this place. So, yeah, this is the... Uh, where the cows will be kept. We own that one. We don't own this field to our left. It's a shame because it's huge. Uh, that building is, uh, well, derelict, I think is the technical term. That road we came off earlier, that would have brought us out here. That is the shop. And I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure that's combine. They hadn't told me it's in yet. Must have arrived just last night. 
Uh, we own this field here. And that looks like wheat to me. It's a quite a long, narrow field. I don't know why they didn't plant crops all the way around. And that one up there, we own that too. But oddly, you get through it through a field that we don't own. But we do have uh, right of access. Oh. Right. Uh. <clears throat> I really can't talk and um, talk and drive at the same time. I don't really know my way around. Is there another way there? No. It's definitely a wall. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, we own this uh, triangular shaped field here. We own this triangular shaped field that's just grass, I think. Maybe at some point we'll knock those through or something. And. Um, if we head up here, there are a couple more grass fields. We don't own that one, but we do own this one. Again, it's just grass. And that trail goes to another one which we don't own. But perhaps one day we will. Right. So there you have that. And that's pretty much um, pretty much the property we own. As you can see we've got uh, 72,000 in our bank. Which seems like we've got a lot of money, uh, especially as most of our equipment is paid for. But there's a few bits we haven't got yet, and of course I need to buy some animals. Before I buy animals, I will need to get them somewhere to live. Actually, as we're here, and I think we're going to pick up some stuff from... Uh, I don't know, maybe they're open. So this is a compound, but they don't operate. There's no office here. But all of these pieces in there, they're all ours. And yeah, if I'm not mistaken, that's the combine we ordered that's been stored here. Um, I've already asked them, and they don't want to appear on camera. So... I'm going to give them a call and uh, see if there's someone who can come and okay me collecting all that. Then again, I mean, I, why do I need to okay it? I own it. It is bought and paid for, so... Yeah. Let's, uh... Let's just get on with it. I'll send them a quick message... Uh, yeah, I'll send a quick message, let them know that I'm collecting some stuff. And, uh, yeah, we'll get on with that. Right. Now, oh, actually, here's a question. I'm going to have a quick look on the map, and I'm going to see if I can find a lake or a river. Um, I mean, there's a pond back at our place, but that's quite a trek. And, uh, yeah, then I'm going to give them a call, and... It's a water tank, by the way. Sorry, I don't think I mentioned that. Um... Priors. That's very noisy priors. Anyway, I'm going to give them a call, and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Soon? I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Howdy, folks. Welcome back. And it seems there was a problem with the recording of the last bit, so uh, you've missed a couple of hours. 
but I have got hold of them. They were fine with me taking the pieces of kit that were already there. Uh, I can't take the combine yet. They've still got some checks to do. Um, everything else is fine. Uh, we've taken delivery of our the first load of sheep. We have ten uh, somewhere. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, we have ten. Uh, I've topped up their water. I have not topped up their food, so that's really a priority. And we're going to get cracking on that. Now. Right. And I cannot find anywhere where I can top up water, so uh, I'm having to take it from from the supplies. Uh, that's not a cut through, just so you know. Uh, that takes, well that goes to uh, that big field over there, which is pretty much from where we are to the barn, and from sort of that gap in the trees over to sort of that gap there. It's a huge field. the um, the other farm so I think we're going to use it there for the cows you know what maybe we're not maybe we're going to leave it here and I don't want to damage that one because that's the one I'm going to mow so tractor is a lot bigger than the, than the ones we had previously so I'm still getting used to things but yeah I'm going to leave this thing up here because we're not getting the cows for a few days and we'll probably end up topping off topping off the uh, the water I'll show you this side of the, uh, the farm. Nice big shed that's ours. A couple of little ones. Uh, that one there's ours. Big shed, that one. Right, let's go get the mower. Probably shouldn't drive so fast than my own farm. Yeah, I tried uh, that. There's so much slime and algae and all sorts in there that I don't think it's going to be very good for them, so uh, yeah I just got it from the mains now this is not a brand new tractor as you've probably worked out, it's quite an older model um, and its previous owner had a sense of humour Yep, that's the horn. Sure, that'll make me popular around these parts. Although with a horn like that, perhaps you should be saying make me popular around these here parts. But I'm bum bum. Well, turned out to be quite a nice day. Shouldn't 
take on this bend. Just scare the locals. Dun, dun, dun. Come on, put your foot down. Okay. Yeah, that's this is our land. This is the shop here on the right. I don't think they have a side entrance. No, so we have to get around, but that's fine. Yeah, they reckon our combine will probably be ready for us tomorrow, which is more than plenty because I need to get the. Uh, Get the sheep sorted and uh, the food situation sorted. And somewhere in this barn is our mower. There it is. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a big one. You'll pardon the expression. It sticks out five or six meters out the back. And it's probably easier to go that way. Sadly, our farm's pretty much on the opposite side of these complex of fields, so whichever way we go, although we can see it's clear here. Yeah, whichever way round we go on the loop, it's pretty much the same distance. I can still see it's clear, so we'll go around again. Da -da -da -da. And somewhere up here on the right will be a turn off. But is it here? Is it this one? No. I'm deliberately not using my map. I'm, I'm trying to uh, to get the lay of the land. I think this is it. Yep, yep, this is it. Because if we don't get it right, we end up going down there, which is someone's driveway. Da 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 da. world's most pointless cattle grid based on the uh, the hoof marks on the side of it I'm guessing whatever was supposed to be kept in just walked around hmm <laughs> Hello, sheep. I'm working on the food situation. That wasn't the turning. This is the turning. I'll be careful. As I say, it's a big one. Alright. Let us... What's the controls for this one? Uh, unfold. There we go. And switch it on. Uh, Lowering. Yeah, there we go. far over we can go, but we'll give it a go. Hello, sheep! Yep, let's get around whatever that is. So cut, okay. We are indeed cutting fine. See, so not a huge field, this one, but uh, manageable nonetheless. 
down. I'll rephrase that. Not a huge field, so it's quite manageable. But I think it's going to feed them well. I mean, they've got the actual grass of the field that they're in. So... I guess I drive on the stuff. About right? Yeah, seems to be about right. How far over can we go? Yeah, also seems to be working. Uh, we do have uh, a wind rower on order, but I don't think it's here yet. So picking this up might be a bit of a a pig, but we'll see. Okay, well, I'm going to carry on with my mowing. And I'll see you in the next episode. Um... Ordinarily, I'm gonna, just going to do one episode per day, or one day per episode. But I think while we're getting things going, we might have to do a few extras. Maybe a couple of double episodes or something. So, yeah. There's going to be a lot going on to begin with. So I will see you after lunch when I've finished mowing this. And uh, we'll get all this grass collected and baled up or foraged up. I can't remember if the, I don't think the forage wagon has arrived yet, but I know the baler has, so we might have to do that. And then I can show you my second tractor, which I haven't shown you yet, because uh, that's one that will be doing all the yard work. It's got the uh, the front loader with the bale spikes and all that sort of stuff. So uh, yeah, I'll see you after lunch. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you an hour or two. Bye for now. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.